into zone 2. Here we go. Hey, we have an actual church with a puzzle inside in front of us. Another terminal beeping at me. Let's just ignore that. And some ruins. A smaller angel statue here. That's interesting. I've not seen a small one like that. Um, hey, another one of these. Oh, it's a grave. Gravestone. Okay, a puzzle. A glitch. Gravestones. Gravestones. Okay, so quite a kind of uh, small Yeah, quite a kind of small little arena this one. Right, let's jump into here. Okay, so ah this symbol, whatever it stands for, this is the first time we're gonna see it. The short wall. Right, the short wall. So the sigil is here on the right. play, record area, and this is the thing, right, a take platform. Platform can be used to have something carried on it. <laughs> what does that mean? Platform can be used to have something carried on it. So I can, what does that mean? I can put... Ah, I think I know what that means. Something can be... Yes, okay, so this is a bit of a tutorial, isn't it, on how to use this item. What's it matter that I scribble my contempt on these walls if I'm still surrounded by them, dog? Yes, dog, you are miserable, aren't you? Okay, so I think I know exactly what needs to be done for this one. Let's do it. Stand here for a moment. Give me time to get here, get on board, and then let's go. Cool, I think that will do it. Lovely. So I think this is a bit of a tutorial. Here I come. Wandering along. Glitching around. Anything I can see of interest from here. Not really. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> no, I did not. Okay, okay. So I need to stand. Very clever. Clever, right. Let's do it again. Right. Oh no, that's better. Right. Let's stand here for a moment. Let me get on board. And then I go to here. I get off, run across the other side. And then I pick you up. Or pick me up. Then we can jump over the wall. I wonder how many people have fallen for that in this playing this game. Probably a good, fair amount of them. Right. So let's do this. Oh, here I come. I drop it. And now I need to get on. Right, perfect. Excellent. Here I am. This does open up an entirely new uh, load of possibilities, doesn't it? This exact thing. Lovely. 
and that wall never comes down. I just need to jump out. We okay, brilliant. On to the next one. A ditch and a fence. This got me. This got me of everything. This one. It looks tough. Right, a ditch and a fence. So what's all that all about? So we have a wall with an area here. Things can't be carried out of. I think. But we do have. So I wonder if my. If Ghost Me can carry things through here. I doubt it very much. Maybe this is the way out. Maybe that's the way out. Ditch. Okay, so this allows me to get on top of the platform, doesn't it? There's no gargoyle watching us. And then, I guess I can go through there. Let's, actually, we can do that straight away. Let's just do one of those straight away, shall we? Get the star. I get on board. through these little... Can I get through this hole? No. No. Oh, no, I can't. Never mind. There must be a way to do that. Okay, well the next thing we need to test is can the guy can ghost me get through here with this no. Right, so let's do this. So what can I do? Is this of any help to me? Right, now, let's see if that works. So what I'd like to do is put this on top and attach that to that and that and put that on top. Just in time. No? Just not high enough, look. Okay, so the answer to that is that we need to put this on top of the ghost box. So, let's try this again. So we do that, and then we put that on top of that. No. Ah, we can't put that on there. 
Okay. Can I put that onto the box? No. allow me to put it on there at the beginning. So how is this going to work? And I can't get the guy to stand on my platform because Ah, no, I understand, I understand. I think we need to do this. Okay, we're just, it's just a matter of order, isn't it? Put this over here. And then... Take this. Stand here. Allow me to put the box on top. And the connector on top of that. And then I go with both of them there. Stand here for a bit. Allow me to get through. Beautiful. Right, that should work, right? Come on, ghost me. Put that on there. Get this. Connect that with that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right. How on earth do I grab on to get hold of that then? <laughs> no idea. Right. I'm kind of suggesting that I'll be coming back to these puzzles, but for the stars, that is. Oh, actually, here is a place that might be useful. But I don't think I will be. This door is quite... I thought we'd be going through there. I thought there was a puzzle in there. This is... Hey, hold on, this is weird. Actual doors with signs on. Kind of modern-looking signs. Elohim is inconsistent. I don't trust him. Yeah, he is inconsistent. These kind of weirdly modern... Are they modern? I don't know. They could be tiles, couldn't they? But I think you're right to not trust him. Right, let's read this tube. Let's, let's interact with the terminal and see what he's got to say. Family. Family.html for those of you who have faithfully followed this blog for the last five years, I just wanted to give you one final update. I'm going to spend my remaining time with my family. Yeah, I know. I know. There are probably 50 plus posts about all the problems I've had with them, but in the end, they are my family. They are the people I grew up with, the people I care about, the people I love. Sure, they annoy the hell out of me, they've said awful things to me, and I've said awful things to them, but that doesn't change who we are. In fact, if we didn't care about each other, this stuff wouldn't upset us. Do I still think they were wrong? Yeah, absolutely. Would I behave differently if I thought we all still had a lot of time? Definitely. But we don't, so I'd rather spend a couple of weeks sitting on the porch with my parents and my sisters than being angry and alone. Besides, it's not like we're going to fight about my job prospects anymore. If you can, try to make love. <laughs> make love, definitely. Also, make peace with those you love. It's your last chance. Thanks for reading. Peace and love, that's what it's all about, isn't it? From Alan Jameson, Institute of Applied Pneumatics, to Fran, last days. You know what the oddest thing about all of this? We're not cons constantly fighting, having nervous breakdowns, screaming at each other. We're actually really polite and focused, and we spend most of our time debating the nature of humanity and how we can best succeed. Probably the most ambitious thing anyone's ever tried. Like it was completely normal. Like that's just how people are. I feel like we've turned into Star Trek characters or something. I guess what's the point of doing anything else? Getting angry isn't going to help. But I didn't expect to feel like this at all. And you know what? It's awesome. Many greetings and good luck. Alan, PS love from George. 
Yeah, that's a very civilised approach, just like Star Trek characters would have to these kind of uh, situations. Rapunzel. Okay. Well, that gives us a clue as to what we might be doing. Yes, look, we have a tower to climb up. What else do we have? More graves. A little sarcophagus-y, tomb-y thing. Right, let's go jump up here and have a look what we've got to see. Right, pressure plates. Two pressure plates, of which... So I'll need to carry something up here, or... No, I definitely wanted to carry something up here, or my ghost guy will, as I keep calling him. Okay, we have a pressure plate here, with two blocks as well. And another pressure plate here with a platform and a recording device. Okay, let's go up here. Do we have anything else of use? Except for a big fat gargoyle? No. Right, so we can leapfrog these boxes out of here, which is nice. And we can open that. I don't think we need to get back in there, do we? So we can take that. Um, we won't be able... Hey, they're cool, those dragons. Like, I won't be able to carry these boxes up. So, that would be interesting because, do we have something else that I can, hmm. what's the point of this platform? Oh, I suppose it's... for me to put the blocks on top of the platform so that I can actually reach one from up there. I think that's probably what it is, isn't it? Right, so the guy, the ghost will need to... Actually, first of all, what you'll need to do is just let me get the two blocks in here. No, actually, that won't be of any use because I need to put something on his head. Will I be able to reach... Hmm. So he needs to allow... Me... No, because he won't be able to actually get out. I think actually what he'll need to do is something like this. Let's try an experiment here. So he'll need to come along, take this away, give me time to take the other one around there and then put this back, and then pick up this, come over here, and let me put one block on top, carry the other. And then walk over to here. Now I don't think that's going to work, is it? Let's just jump a few times, just in case that helps. Now has that, has that done anything? Cool. Put 
one on there, put the other one on there, and then if I run up here, is that of any use? So I can take one, can I take the other? Jump. Yes, perfect. Another way I could have done that, I suppose, is if I had got him to climb the ladder after I get picked one up. And then he could have stood on one pressure plate, but adding the little jump at the end was uh, actually solved it. Perfect. And we have one more to do, which is over here. Um, okay. Cemetery. Blocks and connectors. What do we have? A sigil. Connector, a mine. Another red connector. Nothing that we can see of any use, so I think I'm going to have to brave the mines. But luckily, I'm a hero, so I can do that with much, well, not, not much stress. Right, we have a block there and a another block there. Um, now we can't actually hit anything from here, can we? Can I? No, I can't. going to... it's not going to last long enough, is it, to allow me access. No. So I have a feeling we're going to need to put something on top of these guys' heads. weirdest glitch yet. Ah, I could jump on top of... And we can jump over there, nice. Does that help me in any way? It has helped me get a connector. But I could have got around here anyway, I think. No, I'm trapped. Sigil is, I guess, in there, isn't it? So, how are we going to be doing this? I wonder. Can we plonk stuff on these guys' heads? Yes, from here. So quite comfortably we can put things on the heads. So let's try doing it like that, that. Hey, look at these guys, dragons living on top of here. Put it on your head. No. Oh. Okay. You can get quite close to these, which is nice. Um, yeah. Oh, I can block them off as well, can't I? That's the other thing. Yes, I forgot about that. When they when they're blocked off, can I put stuff on their heads? No. Do this. Well, that. Hold on. Oh, that was me. Yeah, that's fine. Ah, oh, no. Okay. 
Okay, I get a moment there. From which I can get the other connector. Perfect. And the other connector I can actually use to block the other dude, right? I won't be able to hit the... No, I won't. Because I could do something like that. Ah, no, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want to do. I want to take this and put it and attach it to there and put it in this guy's path right here. And take this. Oh no, how have I... Ah, oh, I've screwed that right up. Okay. Let's leave that for the moment. Yeah, lovely. And then I should be able to do that to that, right? And life is good. Life is life is pretty good. Sweet. So that's those all complete. Beautifully. Beautifully. Hello, hello. He's winking at me again. I've decided on reflection to ignore the fact that your pic that your picture of how the world should work is more holes than Swiss cheese. In fact, just in case you do buy some outside channels proved to be right, I'd like to sign up for the gang. If you're in charge of the Ark, who will be first aboard when the flood comes? Floods come, what does one have to do to be valued above all others? Um I think you're just trying to undermine me. Be a good person. Be a contributing person. Be a person. Be conscious. Be alive. Be. I don't see how to explain this to you. Well, I'm not worried about being being a person. Be conscious. Be alive. No. Be. Who's first upon the ark? Who's first aboard? That's a very difficult question. Who would I save? Am I completely utilitarian? Would I save useful people, i.e. contributors. What's the goal? Am I supposed to be saving those that could contribute to a better future? Or be a good person, because you want the right values. But also animals, but you can't single... Animals are basically equivalent, i.e. they're mostly innocent. Well, they they are innocent. <laughs> they're not mostly. They're innocent in their nature, aren't they? Uh, I'd say be a good person, just above be a contributing person. But my idea of a good person is what I believe to be good. How draconian. Good people get treated good, bad people get smited. Is that it? What is it that makes the difference between a good person and a bad one, do you think? Yeah, that's kind of true. I do think that bad people should be left outside the ark. Bad people harm over others. Good people act reasonably. Bad people have something wrong deep inside. No, be bad people harm others. That's what I would say. But why? If you're going to reward those lucky few you judge to be good and exclude those you deem to be bad, you're going to have to explain to this unfortunate why they deserve less. Bad people are that way by nature, and bad people are made that way by the environment, bad people choose to be bad. I'd say mostly, is it nurture versus nature? I'd say it's mostly nurture. I think you might be right there, but tell me, isn't that they're exactly the same way good people are made? Isn't it all just luck of the draw in that regard? In fact, aren't people bad people, just good people who were failed by society. No, because I do think there is part nature as well. It may be luck, but bad is bad. You're right, when someone deserves, what someone deserves isn't dependent on their virtue. 
Um, this is taking everything constantly to extreme, isn't it? But it is luck. I think a lot of the time it is luck, but then... Nurture and nature both are ironed out through other things, which again could be luck, i.e. education or examples that you observe in the world. So there is some personal responsibility, I suppose, to seek out good examples or to learn from good sources. But it probably is. What someone deserves isn't dependent upon their virtue. Maybe luck, but bad is bad. Ah, neither are really hitting the nail on the head. This is the sort of thing people say before a spot of ethnic cleansing. Well, my chances are looking poorer by the minute, aren't they? What do you reckon? Have I got the slightest hope of boarding the Ark? I don't think they've done anything. I'd say they're alright. Good to know that the day you round up the bad people and put them in work camps, I'll have some chance of slipping through the hair. You know, there's something about all this that just doesn't add up for me. Best hope you work out what it is before I do. See you. Yeah, well you're giving me extremely crazy options and putting me into tight spots, but it's probably right. You're probably seeing through something. I've read this. He just wanted to have a chat. Excellent. A good little zone there. Okay. Back into the temple. Right. Zone 1 and 2 complete. Puzzle lines, anyway. Uh, and zone 3 will be done in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.